You may have been told you need to use peer-reviewed sources for your assignments, but what exactly is peer review? Peer review is a checking process used by academic publishers to make sure only the best, most accurate and up-to-date information is published. You may hear people talking about journals or articles being peer-reviewed or talking about refereed articles. These all mean that the source has been through the peer review process. Usually we talk about peer review in relation to journal articles, but some conferences and most academic books will also be peer reviewed with a similar process. You may also hear people talk about scholarly sources. Peer reviewed sources are scholarly sources, but keep in mind that other types of materials may be considered scholarly sources too. The process of peer review starts once an author has written a paper that reports on some original research they have done. The author picks a journal and sends their paper, known as a manuscript, to the editor of the journal. The editor will then check if the manuscript fits the journal's basic criteria. For example, they might ask, does it fit with the subject of the journal? Does the research just replicate other work or does it offer new and unique information? Does it fit the journal's formatting and referencing requirements? And has the research been given ethics approval or conducted ethically? If the manuscript meets these criteria, the editor will inform the author and send it on for review. If not, the editor will decline the manuscript and let the author know. The author may revise their manuscript or simply try submitting to another journal. The editor then needs to assemble a panel to review the manuscript. Panel members will need to be experts on the topic of the manuscript. The editor will probably have a pool of regular reviewers to ask or they may contact experts specifically for this manuscript. Traditionally, reviewers are volunteers and not paid, so potential reviewers might decline. Eventually though, experts will accept to make up the panel. Before sending the manuscript to the panel, the editor can remove the author's name to reduce the risk of bias. This is part of double blind peer review. The reviewers will then read the manuscript and report back to the editor with their thoughts and whether they think the journal should publish the manuscript. Only rarely will a reviewer say the manuscript is ready to publish without any changes. Most likely they will suggest changes needed or may recommend that the manuscript is not suitable for publication at all. The editor then acts on the feedback provided by the panel. If the manuscript is suitable for publication, but needs modification, they will give the author the reviewer's feedback. At this stage, the editor will also remove the experts' names from the feedback. If the editor makes the reviewers anonymous, but not the author, this is called single blind review. If both the author and the reviewers are anonymous, that's called double blind review. The author will then edit their manuscript, responding to the feedback provided by the panel, and send the new version back to the editor. The review process then repeats, with the panel either recommending the revised paper be published, or still needing more changes. Once the panel approves the manuscript for publication, the editor will let the author know their manuscript has been accepted, and publish the article in their journal. Because readers know the article has been peer-reviewed, they know its information is more reliable and thorough than if it had been published without peer review. So, we've seen that peer review is a process where experts check and review information before it's published. When information has been through peer review, it's more reliable than other sources. So, when you use peer-reviewed sources in your assignments, you can be sure that the information is accurate and of high quality.